because it's me and precious. So yeah, I'm just wondering. He has water in there. I'm gonna just put this one in, a little pill cap of water here. And I assume he's drinking water because he seems okay. He's been pooping regularly, but like, I don't know. How do I get him to drink the water? I've definitely noticed he eats his worms, so that's good. But I haven't ever really seen him drink. And actually, I think that's a poop from him right there. It's kind of like maybe a little bit dry. But yeah, I don't know. So how do I get him to drink? And any suggestions? Because he had a plant right where he, about he, where he's sitting. But it kept falling over. So I'm kind of afraid it might not fall. And if you notice, he has new surroundings. Because Mom decided that she couldn't keep the heat on in my room all winter long. So... She brought him downstairs. Oh, I haven't ever seen him go on his rock before. Let's see. Oh, precious. But yeah, um, brought him down here in the kitchen so that he'll have some more warmth. But if you notice, his thing is only at 10%. Ooh, now it's almost 20%, so that might be a little better. Bye, precious. Have you there? I don't know. Bye, precious. But yeah, so I don't know. Because the temp thing was up higher upstairs. So I don't know if that means it's in a good place for him. Um, give me some advice on that. But yep. But, his Christmas present came in. Finally. A reptile cleaning kit. Oh, hold on. Light. A reptile cleaning kit. And here we are. A 10 piece reptile cleaning kit. And it includes everything you need to keep your pet's home clean and tidy. It includes cuffed rubber gloves, substrate scoop, microfiber towel, tank scrubber, scrap, not tank scraper, scrub brush, sponge, 20 rolled waste bags, 2 ounce hand sanitizer, convenient carrying case, and step-by-step -step cleaning guide. Mm -hmm. Earlier... Tried to see if he could go on his little leash, but it turns out he is still very small, and that's too big for him. So the leash will have to wait. And that is my mother's phone ringing. And yeah, so I'm just doing a little more research on what his temp needs to be and stuff. So I found out he needs a hidey hole, but a basking place, a drinking place, a food place. But he needs a nice, kind of a sweat lodge type of thing for when he sheds. So I cut this thing out. And then I need to get some, like, what do you call it? Peat mulch or something. Peat moss. Something, whatever. Anyway. Yeah, so when he was just walking around on the table just now, 